Hello once again, it's Mr. The Big Man here. Um, just going through part one of my uh, sampler tutorial within Ableton Live. Um, first of all, if you notice the whole sampler uh, frame here, I'll just show you backwards and forwards in the main part. You see the whole thing with the sampler. I've got the all the light parameters at the bottom here. Um, move this back across to the start here, so now you can see what I'm doing. If you notice here. I'm just going to select one of the samples that I've imported to um, Sampler. You notice this automatically mapped to key C3. Um, as this particular sample is G3, and we're just going to have to change that up so that we get the proper sound. So if we just drag on the actual thing itself and select G3, then we'll get a sound. So we're just putting together a, a very simple electric piano patch. I just want to show you the zone view. So we click on that. And then I'll bring this up for you. And if you notice, all of the samples then down on this side. Uh, basically, on this side where these where these brown things are, is where we're going to actually um, sort out how the samples actually sit on the keyboard. So I'll drag this across. You'll notice that they're all denoted on their uh, sample pitch or the key that they're on by the little R's there. So what we're basically going to do is just drag it across now and show you how we uh, fit them in. Okay, so you've noticed now I've got them all completed. Um, so I play on the. So it gives you an idea then of basically put the patch together. What I would normally do is make sure, as these are only on the white keys, make sure that they overlap onto the black so that we get a full lot of register across the top. Um, upon doing that, I'll just bring the screen down to the sampler again. And uh, what we want to do is save the patch. So if we click on this, what happens is it automatically opens up your um, sampler folder. And as you can see, it's allowing me to save my sampler patch. So I'll just change that now. Then what happens is once I press that, it automatically disappears. You can find that. I mean, my folder is in my my documents folder, but I find that generally in the Ableton folder. Um, but that's the end of the first uh, tutorial. Just getting the samples in, getting them set up. Next one, what I'll do is show you how to build a multi-layered drum kit, because um, obviously Impulse only allows the import of one sample. So I'll show you how to do that.